Good Saturday morning, everybody. It's July 17th, uh, 2021, for those who are tuning in in the future. Um, so today we are going to finish the 27th chapter of the book of Acts. Uh, Monday, we'll pick up with chapter 28. So uh, Paul is growing closer to, to Rome, but he's got a bit of a of a uh, upset the apple cart, so to say. Today, uh, it's the, they've been fighting the seas and the stormy weather, and we've been talking about that, but today they're actually going to um, they're going to run aground, uh, and it's going to be the end of the ship, so the, of the earthly ship we'll be talking about, I guess. So let's jump right in. we got quite a bit. We're going to go from verse 27 to 44 today, so we got a bigger bite than what we've been doing, um, so hopefully we'll get through this without any problems. Uh, <clears throat> I beg your forgiveness. I've been having, last last day or so, I've been having more trouble with my uh, my breathing. Um, the humidity is killing me. Uh, actually, I cut my sh workout short last night because I was uh, not recovering as quickly as I normally do. So um, that was not good. So I'm hoping to get to the gym this afternoon and hopefully maybe my my uh, my rebound from, from doing the, the movement to getting my air back will be quicker than it was last night. Um, I had to give up. Uh, earlier than I wanted to. I didn't like that, but uh, just wasn't coming back. <clears throat> that be what that may. Forgive me if I if I have to pause. Acts 27, verse 27 to 44. When the fourteenth night had come, as we were drifting across the sea of Adria, about midnight the sailors suspected that they were nearing land. So they took soundings and found twenty fathoms. A little further on they took soundings again and found fifteen fathoms. Fearing that we might run on the rocks, they let down four anchors from the stern and prayed for day to come. But when the sailors tried to escape from the ship and had lowered the boat into the sea on the pretext of putting out anchors from the bow, Paul said to the centurion and the soldiers, Unless these men stay in the ship, you cannot be saved. Then the soldiers cut away the ropes of the boat and let it adrift. Just before daybreak, Paul urged all of them to take some food, saying, Today is the fourteenth day that you have been in suspense, in suspense and remaining without food, having eaten nothing. Therefore I urge you to take some food, for it will help you survive. For none of them, for none of you will lose a hair from your heads. After he had said this, he took bread and gave, and giving thanks to God in the presence of all, he broke it and began to eat. Then all of them were encouraged and took bread for themselves. We were in all 276 persons in the ship. After they had satisfied their hunger, they lightened the ship by throwing the wheat into the sea. In the morning, they did not recognize the land, but they noticed a bay with a beach on which they planned to run the ship ashore, if they could. So they cast off the anchors and left, left them in the sea. At the same time, they loosened the ropes that tied the steering oars. Then, hoisting the foresail to the wind, they made for the beach. But striking a reef, they ran the ship aground. The bow struck and remained immovable, but the stern was being broken up by the force of the winds, waves. The soldiers' plan was to kill the prisoners so that none might swim away and escape. But the centurion, wishing to save Paul, kept them from carrying out their plan. He ordered those who could swim to jump overboard first and make for this land, and the rest to follow, some on planks and others on pieces of the ship. And so it was that all were brought safely to land. Okay. Um, it's interesting, the 14th night, uh, that's divisible by two and gives you seven. Uh, seven, of course, is an important number in scripture. Um, you know, that's a complete number. Uh, so this is a doubly complete of whatever's going on here. Um, so that's something we take note of. I'm not sure what exactly it means, but it's there. Um, and they are getting closer and closer to land. The water's getting shallower and shallower as they're, as they're taking these these soundings with, their, with the rope. Um, so... They are afraid that they might run up on the rocks in the dark, which wouldn't be good. Um, and then the uh, the soldier or some of the sailors are thinking, we're going to try to get out of here while the getting's good, and we're going to jump on the, the rowboat basically and sneak off. Well, Paul senses what's going on or sees what's going on, and the soldiers stop it. Uh, without the sailors, they would have been in trouble. They needed somebody. After all, they're going to hoist the, the, the sails again, which if you remember back before, some uh, said they threw the tackle away, and some people thought it was, you know, pre theorized that that was the, the, the sails. Obviously not, I would say, because here they're going to hoist the sails to try to sail um, closer to the, to the shore. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, <clears throat> 
we've been going through these turmoil, all of this turbulence that Paul has had to deal with on this journey. And I want to use this scripture as a metaphor for our own lives. So, so that's where I'm going to go from here with this. Life is going to bring you the journey of life because that's what we are all on. We're all on our life journey. And we think about, you know, life as, a, 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 you know, as we're caught up in the day-to-day -day things. But the whole thing is a journey from beginning to end. And where is the end? What's what's the end? That's the important part of any journey, isn't it? The journey is, is, is enjoyable, but the end is what the goal is, right? We're, we're going to get to Disneyland or what have you. Never been to Disneyland. I probably won't go this point in life. Um, any anyway, rate, <clears throat> we're trying to get to the end of the journey, and the journey is always going to be filled with rough things, rough seas and all of that. And they're on this journey, and they're rough, hunting rough seas. The ship's taking some hits. Our bodies, you know, the ship, we look at ourselves, uh, we look at all the people on here, all our, on this ship, us, all of our various emotions, our thoughts, our, our inclinations, our, our biases, what have you. Um, all of those things that we have as an individual. Um, we look at our bodies as the ship that we're sailing through here. As we get further and further along the journey, that body gets pretty beaten up. Trust me, I know how that goes here lately. I've been feeling more beaten up lately. Um, <clears throat> and such is with the ship. The ship is getting more beaten up. As it gets up on the rocks, it's getting battered by the waves. Um, they, they, the... Uh, <clears throat> The stern is stuck, and the back, you know, the, but the stern was being, excuse me, the bow has is, is run aground, and the stern is getting broken up by the waves. It's crashing into the end of it. The ship is break, virtually breaking up around them. Uh, the goal is to get to the shore, um, and the goal, the, 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 the prize is not all those things they've accumulated in life. If you look at the cargo as the things we accumulate in life, that's not the prize, you know, man. He who dies with the most toys wins. That doesn't really work out, guys and gals. It's all about the salvation. It's not about the things we accumulate. So we end up throwing those things overboard. We end up giving those things up as that as that body, that ship slowly is beaten beaten up by life, the journey. Uh, but here. Thanks to Paul. And remember, Paul, gives, they, they have a meal here. And this is really a communion meal. This is, you know, this is real. This is the Eucharist. They're, they are having a Lord's Supper, basically. Paul breaks or has the bread, breaks it, and then blesses it, and then shares it with them. So, in a way, he has bestowed them, though he's not blatantly done it. It's a metaphor for the communion, I think, for the Lord's Supper. Uh, so that's interesting. And the grace and the salvation. So because of God's grace, all of them on that ship are saved. They all get to shore. Um, and because of God's grace, we too can get to shore, no matter how scary this journey can be sometimes and how battered and beaten the ship becomes. And at some point, the ship just does real, really starts to break apart. And we know that we're leaving. But we've got to get to shore. Thanks to Christ Jesus, we will get to shore. So that's where I'm going to leave you with this one today. Um, we got through that in pretty good time. Ah, ha, ha. So um, as you go about the weekend, have a blessed weekend. And please be a blessing to someone uh, all weekend long, not just today. Don't forget that tomorrow is a busy day in in Lake City, but here at Woodlawn. Uh, tomorrow at after worship, uh, starting at 1130 is what they're 1130 to 130, I think is the is the time we are having a, a, a Christmas in July brunch. Um, and this is a fundraiser that the Christian Council is doing. Um, and so come and have French toast. Uh, scrambled eggs, it's patty sausage, not link sausage, but patty sausage, and they have some, some muffins. I think they're banana nut and muffins that they have, and that will all be part of the meal. Uh, it's a free will offering, so do what you want to do with that. Um, and then tomorrow night, uh, starting at 6, we have, I believe it's 6 o'clock, 6 to 8.15 is Vacation Bible School. BBS starts tomorrow night. Busy day for good old Woodlawn tomorrow. Going to keep me hopping. Um, and we do have a busy day today. They're setting up for BBS right now. And later this afternoon, they're coming in to set up for the brunch. So it is a busy one. So have a blessed day. Come see us tomorrow. For the, if not for the brunch, then bring, bring a little one up here, a child or a grandchild or a great-grandchild for the Vacation Bible School. Help them to learn about Jesus. Love you all. We'll see you all this weekend. Bye-bye.